Hello everybody and welcome back to some Minecraft. We are back and yes, we have some more factory done. Uh, so, uh, ooh, wrong button, no not that one, that's for damn sure. Right, so we have some more factory, hooray, I've got a load of inventory full of guff as usual. Um, so yes, this is, this has been something that I've been working very hard on in between episodes. Uh, I'm hoping the quarry's not overflowing again. Please say no. Uh, but yes, yeah, so if we go... Hello, Mr. Zombie. If we look here, this is the front of the building now. Uh, looks pretty cool. Oh, God, Mr. Zombie's getting bigger. Um, I've also sort of done a bit of a change to the side of this building. This may stay, this may go. I'm not sure yet. I just thought it looked cool. So uh, we currently have these two giant pillars. Uh, I might put one on the back, I don't know. Um, then we have a window going into here, and if I'll start at the main front bit. As you can see, I prettied this bit up a bit, so it actually looks cool. we got some gates here as well, and you can walk up here and go straight into the factory building, which currently there is nothing here. I might put some uh, Fumic elevator things in here later on. Uh, but for now, this is the floor, and we have some concrete blocks from Chisels that actually give you extra speed boost, which is really cool. So, uh, that's cool. I got this giant window. Literally, all of this took me forever, which is mm, probably why I haven't really uploaded uh, Minecraft in a couple of weeks. But, uh, yes, so we have this giant window. We have this lovely platform. I don't know how this is going to be. This might change a little bit, but uh, for now it's working. Then we got these stairs here, which lead into this part of the base. So we could go in through uh, these doors, or we could go in through the giant front bit. Uh, at some point, I do plan on putting a door here, but for now we haven't bothered. And all of the rest of this is just normal, and to get up here, we will currently have to use our jetpack. Go through this hole. And we've got our magic area, because I want to keep the top floor here for magic, and I want to keep the bottom floor here for, like, machines and stuff, if I can, or automation. And then up here, we're going to have another floor going across, but it's not going to be very big. We're not going to have a lot of headroom. And then on the top, we are hopefully uh, going to have a garden, which will be really cool. So uh, that will be for our, like, Britannia stuff and our bees and all that sort of stuff, which I think could be pretty cool. So, uh... Yeah, I've got a ton of torches lighting up the place at the moment. Thank God I've got a ton of cobblestone from the quarry. That came in very useful, even though I did have to chuck some stuff out. And we have lots of yellow uh, crucio essence stuff currently. So let's just whack that in here and get that made up into Imperio. So let's head over to the quarry real quick, just check how that's going, and then we'll get on with some stuff. So I have been working a lot in between episodes, as you could probably tell. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff coming out of here. Holy crap. Right, I'll get this sorted, and then we will be back. So as I mentioned, now that we've got all that out of the way, uh, we have moved all of our magic stuff to here, really. Uh, as I said, I will add Britannia to the top of the place once we're done, but all the magic stuff we've done so far is in here. I've done an absolute ton of research in between episodes. I need to find my Fulminomicon, and I don't know where it is. I can't remember where he put it. Okay, I did put it in here. Thank God for that. Right, so if we head up here, I believe uh, we should have everything we need in here. Because I did say last episode that we would make the Goggles of Revealing, which we have now got. Uh, we've got all the stuff for it anyway. So we're going to get those, and this should mean that now, if we stick these on, we have some cool looking specs. And we don't need this to see aura nodes anymore. Now I believe there was one in front of the house. Uh, well, I mean, we've got the whole, uh, this thing. This weird pillar thing, but uh, yeah, we can see aura nodes now, which is pretty cool, and we can also see that aspects, which is also really cool. So uh, we do still need the thermometer for researching this sort of stuff, but we don't really need it now for uh, the basics of uh, finding them. So that's really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so today's episode, we're going to get on with a bit more tech-related stuff, because I want to get started 
with a new miner. So, we're going to look up the recipe for the miner, or the uh, mechanism digital miner. And for this, we are going to need two teleportation cores, uh, a robot, uh, some atomic alloy, and yeah, we're going to need a lot of really dodgy stuff. So, uh, best thing to do is get these electric circuits first. So we need some osmium and some redstone. Well, we already have the redstone. So, uh, osmium is going to be the first thing we need. So I'm going to get some circuits. Also, I upgraded the, uh, crusher because I definitely need it for the project that we worked on for the windows and everything. So, uh, that came in really handy. And I'm going to stick these in here and get a load of these worked up. Because they are going to come in very handy and we're probably going to need quite a few of them anyway. So uh, we needed a couple of these. We needed some pistons. So I'm going to break some wood down, get those. So I don't think I have any cobble because I used it all. Okay, so we should now have some cobblestone in here. So we're going to work with this see if we've actually got any iron and stuff in here because i believe we do thank god uh right so iron and redstone god we got a lot of redstone we definitely don't need redstone anymore like we did before thank god right so we need two of these we need uh two of these and then i believe it was just iron around them yeah there we go so a logistical sorter we need two of those, I believe. So there we go. Now, uh, next thing we are going to work on is probably going to be the robot, really. Um, this thing needs an electrical chest, which this seems fairly easy. We just need some steel, which I'm not sure if we've actually got any. I don't believe we have. Let's have a look and see. We've actually got some steel dust, which is pretty good. So happy about that. Right, let's get that sorted. Boop, boop, boop. And five, exactly the amount we needed. So that's cool. So let's get this in here. And we need two chests, I believe, which I believe I actually made up, which is good. And can't remember the other thing. I know we needed a circuit. I can't remember the other thing we needed. Ah, piece of glass, of course. I don't know if we've got any because I think I used it all. Unless we can use that, which we can. Awesome. So, we've got a electric chest. Now, this we need uh, two refined obsidian ingot. Oh, God, really? So, we need an osmium compressor. So, osmium. Let's have a look, see what we need for this. Sword of the Cosmos. Infinity attack. Holy oh, golly. Oh. I want this thing. Right, so uh, we'll get to that later on, not now. Uh, so we need an osmium compressor. So where is that? Okay, so osmium compressor. We need two advanced circuits or advanced control circuits. Uh, we need four of these, two buckets and steel casing. So steel casing is probably the first thing we should get. So we need to get some more steel. Of course we do. Um... Oh, we've actually got one. Oh, sweet. I was prepared, apparently. Not that I knew I was, but I was prepared. Right, so, osmium compressor. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's see if we can make this lovely osmium compressor. Should be able to. There we go. Osmium compressor. Cool. Right, so, I'm going to whack this down here. we got a space for it. I didn't think I would actually use that space for anything. Glad I did. Right, so... Uh, for this, we need some osmium, I believe, as you would expect. Uh, so, osmium. Well, maybe we don't. Uh, let's have a look. So, uh, uh, yeah, we do. So, we need refined obsidian dust, um, which we get from getting rid of obsidian. Okay, so we need obsidian dust to put it with some diamond dust. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I've got diamonds in here. Oh, I do. I could have made some anyway. Uh, and we need obsidian, which we also have apparently. Cool. Right. Okay. Let's see if we can make some of this. And that doesn't want to crush that. Okay. Enriching. Ah, there we go. Okay. I wasn't sure what would do it. Okay. We get two back from each one as well. So that's pretty good. Can we crush these? We can. Now, I don't actually think I needed to do three diamonds. I think I only really needed one. 
so let's have a look. How much do we get? 10? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Oh well. Uh, so we got some refined obsidian dust. Let's get some more of that going. Not as much as we can for now. Uh, and then we need to stick that in here with some osmium, I believe. And then we should hopefully get what I want. So, this is going to be a long-winded episode for this sort of thing. Oh my god, the sound of that thing. Let's whack this in here. Okay then, right, so uh, we've got two refined obsidian ingots, which I'm not sure if we actually need to use these yet. Um, hmm. Do, 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 do. Electrical tablet thingies. Oh, we can actually make these as well. Sweet! Probably going to need to make some more enriched alloys pretty soon, because I believe that may be a thing now. Right, so we need some more diamonds, and we need to enrich alloy to make a uh, reinforced alloy, at which point we need to put it with compressed obsidian, or refined obsidian, uh, to make atomic alloy. Okay. Hoi-hee. Right, um, diamonds. Might as well just bring the whole stack. Right, so first thing, we're going to put in a couple of diamonds into there, get some enriched alloys, back into some reinforced alloys. There we go, that's two of those. I believe that'll do for now. And then we need to get our refined dust and whack that in to get some atomic alloy. Awesome, that's what I wanted. So now we can go at our first little thing, which is our robot. Now, do believe we might need some steel. We will see. Uh, mm, there's our chest, and we yeah we need steel. So uh, iron and uh, I guess some coal. Okay, there we go. We got some steel and lots of it. So we've future proofed. Well, hopefully. So we got Robert. There we go. Mr. Rabbit is in our possession. Now we need to make some more atomic alloy. Uh, we need to make another steel casing, and we need to make two teleportation cores. So I'm going to make the steel casing first, because I don't mind doing that. <laughs> I don't want to make anything else. Right, so, uh, teleportation cores. We need four atomic alloy. Oh, God, really? Okay, dook. And have we got any alloy left in here? We do have a little bit, not a lot. So I guess that means that we're going to have to start with this. So we need another two of these crushed. One, two. There we go. And get those in here. And done with that. So now we need some more uh, obsidian dust, I guess. So we're actually going to need to make even more of this. Hooray! See, we need four, so I'm gonna have to make. Oh no, 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 no! Shit. Right, okay, uh, let's stick that in here. Yeah, that's. No, I was right in the first place, I just need to stick in a one. Another. Me dum dum. Me very. Oh god. Can I pick you up? Thank god for that. Right, I was getting a little bit concerned there. Uh, right, so we need some more obsidian. So that wants to go in here. And whack the rest of that into here. So we should now have all we need to make atomic alloy. Hooray! Okay, hopefully we don't need anything else. Uh, right, so, uh, two atomic alloys, like so, and we get one of those, oh shoot, need another diamond, okay, we got that, there we go, so, two teleportation cores, and finally, we should now be able to make the miner, which we don't have the stuff for, question mark? Wait, what do I need? Oh god, I need another two, damn it! Okay, two more atomic alloys on the way. There we go. Right, so that should mean now that we can look at Mr. Robert and go with the miner and you, for some reason, still aren't in there. Logistical sorter thingy. 
There we go. Digital Miner. Awesome. We've got one. Finally. Woo! I'm happy now. Um, right. So, that now means that we can basically start doing some cool mining. Um, that doesn't take too much resources. So, uh, let's start, I guess. Where do I want to start? I guess we could stick it out here. And then have some uh, cabling going through the ground. Uh, so, uh, what I want to do is stick on Silk Touch, because that's always a good thing. Um, and I'm going to need some more cabling to go over here. So, I'm going to set this up real quick, and then we will be back. So, here, yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, so we're going to set this up so that item stack, actually no, uh, material type of dirt can we do that yep dirt save and then we're gonna have inverse mode on so that it doesn't go for this so hopefully this will work out now i don't think that this thing's working currently i'm not sure why um at all okay so second material type is st actually we might just do item stack of stone because I don't want it uh, fuzzy mode. Eee. We'll leave it like that for now. Because we've got silk touch on. And that's on the inverse. So we shouldn't get any of that. Now, if we stick this on. Hello there. And we should start seeing things come through. So dense iron ore. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to export. I don't think it will. Uh, can you auto eject? Let's see. Pull. You. Hello sir. Uh, do we have to restart for this? Let's try that. Auto eject, auto pull, is that on? That's on. Auto pull, say yes. Right, I don't want salt, so we're going to go in here, reset that. Config, item stack, salt. Or actually, no, can we do or dictionary, salt? I don't think we can. Or dictionary of salt, uh... Require replace. I don't know. I don't know what the old dictionary thing does, so we're just going to stick with the generic salt. Yeah, stick that in there, save, and then see what else we got. Uh, iron, magnesium, I don't really want that. Uh, that I don't really want. I'm going to basically try and keep this specific to certain items so that nothing gets in the way. So save that one. Item stack, save that one. Right, so we shouldn't see these anymore. There's a lot of zombies, and I have a feeling they're going to grow up pretty soon. Oh my god, look at the damn things. Hello there! Ah, what the fuck? Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Right, let's get this going. So, still 64,000 blocks. Ooh, 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 okay. Um, hmm. Can I take the power cable off of here and change it. That's what I want to know. Does that still work? That still works. Okay. Uh, can I... pop you off? I'm like a chest on the back. Will that work? Yay! There we go. Okay, cool. So I don't want Tessalite. That's so annoying. Oh my god, so many zombies. Okay, that's took it down a bit. Holy crap. Uh, I literally just put limestone in there and it's just whacked this down to 10,000, so I think gravel's probably going to be the next one to just test out. Uh, let's do material. What is gravel anyway? If it's stone, then I won't bother, but... Let's have a look. Oh my god, right, okay. Yep. Yep. So we should start seeing some goodies, and if we want anything specific... Hopefully, we'll find some diamond and that in there, and we'll sort that at a later date. But, I think that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to get done this episode. Um, and, we should have a lot more to work with in the next few coming episodes. So, hopefully, next episode I will work on some magic stuff. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I've got the tech and stuff out of the way that I wanted to get done today. So, that is the main thing. And, we're going to put all of this guff into here and we will uh, 
I guess, continue with all this stuff soon or later. So, I do want to get some more Funcraft done. I do want to get some more Batania done. I also want to get the uh, roof done so that we can get Batania done, really. Um, and, of course, we'll keep the farm where it is. And we'll get this a bit more refined. Uh, definitely don't want some goddamn annoying dirt blocks or grass as it is. I am now getting shot at. Brilliant. And start. There we go. Right, okay, that should fix things, hopefully. Because I don't know where those blocks came from, and I don't want to find out. So hopefully it won't take anything out of my base. Uh, uh. Never really thought of that, did I? Oh well. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. A zombie got over the fence. God damn it. Uh, for more content coming in the future. And, uh, yeah, I will show a bit more of this base off, hopefully, next episode. By the way, uh, these are the wedge slopes uh, that I use for the windows. I thought they suited pretty well. I've used them before in a uh, thing that I've done on Minecraft, and I thought they worked fairly well. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I have been Pokepill. This has been my modded Minecraft series, and I hope to see you all next time. So until then, 